<clears throat> Ma'am, your son got into a fight again. They asked for it. They got it. Oh, honey. Why? Because of father? Because I don't have one. Ma'am, if you don't have time for him, why did you have him in the first place? What? I don't need your advice, okay? I need to go to my second job. Okay, I'm sorry. It went too far. I said too much. Well, way too much. But um, can I make up for it? And uh, give you a right to work? I never let anyone control my life. But then, I didn't even imagine that I would lose control next to him. I'm Megan. And this is my love story. So, welcome to the team. You're hired. Thanks. My oh, pleasure. Mr. Miller. I... Megan, you're late. Again. Oh, Mr. Miller, I'm so sorry. My son got into a fight at school, and then my car broke down, and also the snow. I'm sorry. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have hired a single mother. There's always problems with you. You're fired. Wait, no. Mr. Miller, no, please. I need this job. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, you're still here. You do realize that your boss is a complete jerk. Just leave me alone. I don't need your pity. Well, I'm sure you don't, but you might need some food. Let's have dinner. What? It's not like you're busy. I'm sure you could have a drink. Unless you want to enjoy yourself in this fine summer weather. Come on, let's go. What was he thinking? But at that moment I was at the rock bottom and agreed. If only I had known how getting close to him would end. That's funny as hell, man. So do you remember the number of this joke? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> So, what do I want from Mr. Well, nothing. I just like you, and uh, I think you're very cute. <laughs> Here we go. What next? Shall we go to the lake to kiss in your car? I'm not a helpless little girl looking for a shoulder to cry on. No, you just seemed... What? Um, Weak? No, I didn't say that. Of course. You're a big hero and I'm a damsel in distress, right? I don't need anything from you, Stan. Hey, wait. What? Nice catch. I just passed you the ball. Now it's up to you. The ball is in your court. I'm not a team player. I'm satisfied with my life. But what about Jack? He's a promising player, and I could help. Just give me a chance to work with him some so more. So then what? You'll use my son to get me? And after you get what you want, he'll just leave? I can throw a basketball, grab a rebound. But I'm not in the habit of throwing a good woman away. Oh, so why are you single? Women keep dumping you. Hmm? Not necessarily that. Stan, wait. I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean to... 
You're right. Jack would like some extra training. Thank you. I'll think about that. But now I realize where Jack got his toughness. <clears throat> Ouch. Sorry. <laughs> we started meeting every day. The end of the world. I saw how worried Stan was about my boy. It won me over. When it all goes to hell. And at some point, it even began to seem that we are a family. My face to the sea and my back to the land. I let my guard down and it led to a disaster. Jack? Jackie? Jack? Jackie? Stan. Stan. Come on. My heart was racing. My head was reeling and my hands were shaking. What had happened? Where were Jackie and Stan? I was hoping to find them at home. Jack? Jackie? Jack! Okay. I'm just don't say it. Jack! Oh. Uh. What happened? First of all, calm down. It was another fight, what? and we... So why am I only finding out about it now? I called you. You should have contacted me immediately. Ma Mom. Jackie, uh, please, I'll figure it out. Megan. What? You don't know the situation. Oh. I wanted the best for you. I'm his mother, and you have no right to decide what is best for my son. You aren't his parent. Look, I... No, it's me. I believed again, and I lost control. You know what? It's better if we don't see each other anymore. Jackie, no. go to the house now. No, Mom. No. Mom. No. What? <sighs> so... Why didn't you call me? Um... I started the fight. The boys got me again. Where's my father? And I said that Stan is my father. And they started laughing and... I couldn't help it. Um. Jackie's son. Stan protected me and, and took me to the hospital. And I asked him not to tell you. But Jackie... We had a long talk about uh, me getting into fights. And I was wrong. Stan explained to me how to act like a real man in such a situation and... I don't want to fight anymore. <sighs> Stan is a good guy. And... And he loves you. Will you forgive him? Oh... Please. Well... I don't know yet. Wait... What makes you think he loves me? He told me. I didn't know what to do next. I couldn't decide if Stan had done the right thing or not, or 
if I could trust him anymore. Well, have a good practice. Thanks, Mom. Hey. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Have Bye. a nice day. You too. Stan, I... I'm so afraid, Stan. Afraid of what? I felt it again because of you. The pain of being abandoned. The unbearable pain of abandoned and betrayal. Stan, I'm sorry, I can't. I always be afraid that one day you will leave me. Megan, how can I walk away from the wife and son that I love so much? <sighs> Megan, I love you. And I want to become a father for Jack. I never thought that a guy like me could ever have a family, but here goes. Megan, I could never leave you. And there's no reason that I ever would. Marry me. He who doesn't risk never wins. Love is always a risk. But it is worth it.